back. Um, so I just did film the episode of the uh, of the CZ four five seven in seventy and HMR. Fantastic little rifle. But I'm going to talk about this. So this is the Spanish cavalry carbine. But first, I'll have some Herfler. So the Spanish cavalry carbine. Um, fantastic little rifle. Uh, when I shot it last, I, was, I did, only did um, some three-shot groups and uh, uh, to find out what what weight uh, charge was optimum. And I went, I ended up going for 28 and a half grains of AI2208, which is Varget, which is a very light load. And when I went to the range and shot these, like they're really quiet and it doesn't punish your shoulder like the full factory loads do. Um, now, when I first got this. Uh, I did have a serious trigger issue, um, like it was, so that's, it's pretty light now, but as soon as you, it becomes really heavy, um, so let's make the bolt out, so the trigger issue has largely, what's going on, the trigger issue has largely gone but um I what's what's happening is that the the weight I don't, I don't know why this um I don't know why it's so heavy after being cocked with the bolt in because on its own And you can feel the two stage with the bolt out of it. I'll just weigh it. Um, damn it. So it's about five pounds. So how can you do that without? Because you know when it's going to break. It's about. Between five and yeah, about yeah, it's about around the five pound range. Um, but when you put the bolt in, when you actually have the bolt in, it is. It's that's nine point four pounds. Eight pounds thirteen. It is two. It is a, a two stage mouse trigger, but that last the breaking weight is like the take up weight is five pounds, and then the breaking weight like. No, Eight pounds, twelve ounces. So it's been, you know, roughly between eight and a half, nine and a half, or nine pounds, which is really, really heavy. Um, I don't understand why. Perhaps someone can, because there's a like the whole the whole bolt moves, and you know when you know where the brake, but that's really heavy. I've sort of gotten used to it, but I don't know why it's like that. Um, what I'm going to do is actually disassemble it and see if there's some sort of stock impingement happening. Um, try and figure out what, why why that is so heavy but I'll show you the groups that I shot so these were five shot groups um, they averaged about two inches you know they were I'd get yeah, they were sort of all over the place um, but I was only shooting three shot groups they'd be a lot smaller but you'd get like three together in a group and then one really big flyer and yeah like there's four there and then one really big yeah it's sort of yeah, um, might have to do some more testing um, to 
to see exactly what's going on, but what I'll do now is I'll, I'll strip strip it. Uh, you're not going to, well, you're going to see it done very, very quickly. So, uh, let's see. Okay. I'll just slow it down again. One of the issues that I'm having is that the follower on the spring is it comes, it's, it doesn't stay there, it moves, it moves off the actual spring. Um, no real idea why that is doing that, but um, what I'll have to do is, uh, I don't know, it's staying there now. Oh, that's pretty weird. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I haven't taken this guard off because I, I'd have to take the, I'd have to strip the um, the rear sight, which I don't particularly want to do. There is a bit of pitting under the barrel, which is quite normal. It's the area where you know you don't really get to when you're oiling it. Once you gets in there and you don't oil it and whatnot, um, so. Let me test the trigger now when it's actually out of the action. There's a fair bit of sideways play there. I'll just fire it like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit lighter? I don't know. Let me, let me test it out. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah, ready. Seven point three five pounds. That's lighter. Seven point four pounds. So it's definitely lighter when it's out of the stock. Um, why would that be? Why would that be? It's something impinging on it. I don't know. Right again. Oops. Clear. Six point nine pounds. Yeah, so that's a fair bit lighter. Well that's like two two pounds lighter um, when it's out of the stock, but it's still it's still quite heavy. So what I might do is that I might actually change the spring. I do have some springs. Um, I'll have to have a look at which spring. Um, so I'll knock out the uh, knock out the pivot pin. And, um, let's see. see if I can change the spring on it. With these old guns I'm a bit loath to take off. Um, it's, it's not too rough you know. Now that's a really really heavy spring so I can see why that trigger's that heavy. Um, yeah it's a really really heavy spring. Uh, let's see I've got springs here that are um, much lighter so I was actually even considering um, I've got heaps of springs I've, this isn't the only springs I've got um, I was even considering because there's a Timney make a, um, a, a replacement trigger now that is that going to work though because it's got to go around I don't know it sits in there. So, we'll just have a look for a lighter spring. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got some more springs. I'm a real shit hoarder, so I even keep springs out of, you know, fountain pens, or ballpoint pens and whatnot. So that's the original, no, that's, which one's the original spring? These springs look exactly the same. Wow. 
Where's that one? What's that one? Not sure which is original spring now, but it doesn't matter because these springs are a lot lighter. Which one's this one? They're not as long, so that might be an issue. Yeah, I think it is an issue. Uh, but I'll try one of these lighter springs. Oh, that one's a lot lighter. I think it'll be a lot lighter. So let's put him back in. See what happens. Alright, so. It's more like a single stage trigger now. I don't know if that did any difference. Made any difference. Let's have a look. Ooh, that feels even heavier. <laughs> What's going on? Let's, let's see if that made any difference. I think, I think I'll put a heavier spring in. Clear. Ready. Oh yeah, I did. Went over. Oh, that's not good. All right. Take that spring out. Um. I'll try one of those shorter springs because um, that's definitely not good. Wow. <laughs> that's. Yeah, that one's too light. Still straight away. Too short, too light. Maybe not. Hey, hey. And that's a CZ. A, um... CZ spring. Well, I meant for a CZ anyway. Let's have a look. Ready? Get out of the way. Three pounds, thirteen ounces. <laughs> hey, let's do it again. Clear, ready. Three pounds, fourteen ounces. Uh, I didn't think it'd be this simple. I was actually thinking oh, I'm going to have to buy a replacement trigger from Timney. Three pounds, ten ounces, and this is. And that's a very, um, very consistent. Four pounds, 2.5 ounces. Not consistent. Three pounds, 15 ounces. Four pounds, four ounces. All right, well, you're looking about between, th I'll try it again, three and a half to four pounds. Three pounds, well, around four pounds, three pounds, 14 ounces. So it's gone from over like nine pounds to four pounds. So I've dropped that weight of that trigger by five pounds just by pulling out, I'm trying to figure out which spring it is. I think it was that one. I think it was that one. It's a really, really crazy heavy spring. I don't know if that's the original spring. So if you want to improve the weight of your of your um your Spanish Mauser trigger, it's really heavy, just chuck a CZ spring in it. These this is CZ springs. So yeah. There you go. Amazing. So, chuck them all in this bag and my other springs. There you go. Problem solved. I think I've even got a lighter spring actually, but uh, I, th I think that's for this type of rifle, for a military rifle, for a four pound trigger. Um, so I'll just, um, I'm gonna speed this up by reassembling it. I'll just have some more beer. Uh, a couple of flies in there. I'll reassemble this. What I've got coming 
because this thing shoots pretty high still, um, I've got coming a, a Mauser sight post, a different one. Um, and I don't think this is the original sight post. And then um, <coughs> hopefully it's higher than that. And then, um, yeah, see how we go. Now this follower, it's on there now. Yeah. Whatever. Um, so, speed this up. Okay, got it back together. So, we'll put the um, my battery all right. Now. Let's put it back in the in the rifle. All right. So we'll test out the weight of the trigger now. Now that it's back in the rifle. So it was around four pounds, just under four pounds before. See if it's any heavier now. Four pounds ten ounces, so it's a little bit heavier. But compared to um, compared to nine pounds, <laughs> okay, that's a big difference. So. Four pounds twelve ounces. Four pounds eight ounces. Um, it does, depending on where you apply the leverage on the trigger, it does alter it. So um, I'll try and do it in exactly the same spot. Four pounds five ounces. So it's about a five five ounce increase in weight once it's in the stock. Four pounds one ounce. So yeah, right. do it again. Four pounds four ounces. So about four pounds four ounces, four pounds five ounces, four pounds four ounces. That's a massive difference between nine over nine pounds and f just over four pounds. Um, this is going to be so much easier to get accuracy with it because you before I was see now like before it was really sort of spongy when you got to the breaking point but now it's very positive yeah it's there because the tree the, that spring is so much lighter and it's yeah all right <laughs> there you go I fixed the trigger. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Uh, I thought, I, yeah, I thought I would have issues, but no, uh, it's no longer crunchy. Ooh. It's you get you get to that. There's also less take up now. I've noticed the take up is a lot less. Oh, there, it's a bit more there. The difference. You gotta remember these are sort of there. Yeah. yeah, that's better. That's a massive improvement. Um, the other improvement I've got to make is so the front sight, I've got front sight posts coming. I don't know if they're gonna be tall enough. Who knows? Um, but I've got, uh, yeah, what else? Um, I've got two cross bolts, two uh, well, tally cross bolts coming. Um, I just can't get a replacement stock for this. It's pretty much impossible to get it. Um, there are ones for sale in the United States, but guess what? Can't send them to, on eBay, but they can't be sent to Australia for whatever, it's a piece of wood, you know. So I've got to do something about this crack. So what I'll do is, um, I'll dig out this, I don't know if that's, no, it just looks like putty. It looks like some sort of 
brown, brown putty. Well, it might be a piece of wood. No, it just looks like brown putty that they've put. I don't know what's in here. That, that repair for the crack that they did at the top, um, I, I don't know what's in there. I've, I've got to have a bit of a, a bit of a dig in there and then just have a look what's there. Um, it could just be a dowel. It could be, it could be anything. It could be an actual cross bolt. I have no idea, but it doesn't matter. So what I've done is I've actually fixed the trigger, which I'm really really happy with. Uh, those groups should get a little bit smaller. Hopefully the front sight that I get for it, because to, to move the front sight uh, you do actually have to take it out of the stock because of that bull nose nose cap. Um, the wood does actually go to the end and you can't use, where's the tool? You can't use the drifting tool. Um, those ears, those ears are solid steel and you just, you really can't work between them. Um, yeah, so what I'll have to do is uh, wait till that new site turns up, uh, or the new sites turn up, hopefully they're taller, and then um, I'll be able to install it. Otherwise, what I might have to do is actually just build up that the front site that's on it, because it's almost at the top of the ears now, so I can't really go that much higher. But it doesn't have to go that much higher. It has to go a little bit. Because with that reduced loads of 28.5 grains of Varga, AR2208, um, it's only shooting about 4 inches high. So, yeah. Um, yeah but who knows? I'd really like to get another stock for it, but it's not going to happen. I'd have to make one, which pff, I'm not a stock maker. So, yeah. So, anyway. I'll do a report on it once. So I'm really happy. Fix the trigger. Excellent. Like four pounds, whatever, five ounces, four pounds, four ounces. Um, once I get the front sight post and the cross bolts, I'll, uh, well, once I get the front sight post, hopefully it's taller and I'll install that and then I'll file it down to where it needs to be. Um, and then once I get the cross bolts, which I'm getting all of it, I'm getting from Brownells. Once I get the cross bolts, I'll um, try and fix the stock. I will fix the stock. <clears throat> like I said, I'd like to have a new stock, but no, not going to happen. Um, there, apparently, there is a guy who's got a pantograph, so you can copy it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll have to inquire more as to exactly what I can do. So until then, see you later.